Hello everyone, Shroom Rover here, and today it is Thursday, and you know what that means, it is time for Theme Thursdays. Yes, indeed. Now, today, for the first time in a very long time, we are actually going to go there, uh, try that one again. <laughs> we are actually going to be going into a Little Cup. Uh, it's been a while since we've been there, and the reason we're in Little Cup is because today's theme is uh, the first of another two-parter that I've got going, and we are focusing on Pokemon Stadium. Old Nintendo games, uh, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 of course, I love them, I played them a hell of a lot. Um, way back in the day when I used to do um, Showdown Throwdown with uh, Raikwin, you may remember that um, we had a special one where we did it on Pokemon Stadium 2 in battles. But we are going to be focusing on another aspect of those games which is the mini games. Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2 had these mini games you could play, sort of party things, very good fun, and we're going to be basing some teams on the Pokemon that appeared in those games. So, first up, we have the Pokemon from Pokemon Stadium 1 mini games, and just by dint of it being sort of party games, there were smaller Pokemon, and most of them do appear in the Little Cup tier, so that is where we're going to be going. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the team we're going to be using. Now there are some bad Pokemon in there, like you've got the Hardening game with Metapod and Kakuna, we ain't using those. We've got the Splash game with Magikarp, we ain't using those either. But what we do have is uh, Voltorb first up in the minigame Thundering Dynamo. That featured both Voltorb and Pikachu. Pikachu of course is not in um, Little Cup anymore with Pichu coming into it. So we've got Voltorb instead, we've got a Choice Scarf Voltorb here. Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hidden Power Ice, and Signal Beam. I want to go Scarf because, you know, you've got stuff like uh, Abra and Ghastly kicking around that this thing will outspeed. And that is going to be the moveset on there. Now, next up, we have Lickitung. Uh, Sushi Go Round, just the best of the mini games from Pokemon Stadium of all time. The fact that Lickitung is in Little Cup is ridiculous because this thing is bulky as hell. We've got an Ivalite Oblivious set here with Wish, Body Slam, Knockoff, and Toxic, a very specially defensive set. And to back that up, we have Drowsy. <clears throat> Drowsy is featured in the minigame Snore War, which is the worst of the games, I feel. Uh, mostly an offensive set here, bulky attacker with Psychic, Hidden Power Fighting, Thunder Wave, and Shadow Ball. Then we have Hoop Hurl. This is going to be Ekans from Ekans' Hoop Hurl. It's kind of like you had the call up Ekans and you flung it and it had to land over some Diglett. I was tempted to put Diglett in, but it's not the main feature of the game, so I didn't. But again, we've got an offensive, bulky Ekken set here with the Avilite, Intimidate, Gunk Shot, Earthquake, Sucker Punch, and Coil. Now, I don't get to use Coil very much on this Ekken set, but I decided to go with it just in case I get the chance. Then we have Sandshrew from Dig Dig Dig. Um, again, another reason I didn't want to, I didn't want to use um, Diglett. We've got a physically defensive Sandshrew here with Earthquake, Knock Off, Stealth Rock, and Rapid Spin. Very standard stuff. And finally, we have Run from Run, Rattata, Run. This is the Rattata set, of course. We've got a Hustle Choice Band set here, which is a bit risky, but we're going with it anyway. Return, Quick Attack, U-Turn, and Crunch on there. So, that's going to be the team. Let's get into one or two battles and see exactly how things play out. Right. <clears throat> Bleach HV Clorox is here. Um, some fairly standard stuff. Oh, he's also got a Lickitung, um, which is cool. We've got a Bunnelby. Abra is there, of course. Shield on. Looks like the potential lead, it could be a Scarf Bun will be U-turning, um, or indeed that Shield on Sue. I think either way, I kind of want to go with Ekans here, it's probably my best bet. And actually no, to be fair, if the Shield on's going to be leading, I'm going to go with Sandshrew. It's the Abra, okay. Um, I can probably live any hit that this thing goes for. <laughs> Abra's usually sashed in this meta. Um, as he goes for the signal beam, possibly expecting a switch. Uh, and he's not sashed, actually. He was choice scoffed. So that's very nice we got rid of that very early. Here's the Elekid. Um, I'm confused. I don't really want to be taking this hit. And looking at what he's got defensively, I think Drowsy's going to be more useful in the long term. Um, I'm going to go into Lickitung as my main bulky thing. He's just going to go for the Ice Punch, which is fine. He's going to get the Freeze. That's not fine. That's really not fine at all. This thing is Life Orb. Um, I'm going to see if I can Thor out. He's going to go for the Low Kick. And we're not going to Thor. Oh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> God damn it, Lickitung. Uh, um, that's really bad. Um, 
He's going to take out Lickitung. The Ice Punch first turn freeze. Very unfortunate. Um, so what can we do here? Well, we can go to Sandshrew who will take an Ice Punch. He just will. Um, and I'm going to go for the Earthquake. We do take the Ice Punch. He gets another freeze. Are you kidding me? Seriously, though. <sighs> He's going to go for the Low Kick. That's rubbish. That's actually rubbish. Alright, Ekans. Just gonna go for the Earthquake. Two freezes. Fuck me. He's gonna go into the Arkan because of course he is. Um... Sucker Punch, as he just takes it out with an Earthquake. That's so annoying. But it's not over just yet. Um, Volt Switch will kill this thing. That's fine. Um, I will go into Rattata. This might bait in the shield on. It's not over just yet. It's going to go into the Elekid. Um who I will quick attack. That will take out the Elekid, that's nice. Now it should be the shield on, I would have thought. Yeah, it's the shield on. Um, okay, we're going hard into Drowsy here. Just to make sure he can't do anything nasty. Um, and I do have Hidden Power Fighting. He's going to go for Flash Cannon, which is fine, I guess. Um, Let's go for Hidden Power. Ah, it's going to be the Lickitung Tongue coming in. This won't do too much. It won't do anything. Um, let's go with Psychic. Going to get a Spideff drop? No, he's a Swords Dance. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, Keep Psychicking. Body Slam does not take us out, which is nice. Um, I'll go for Hidden Power here. Just in case he wanted to go into the Shield on which he doesn't, which is fine. Now in comes the Bunnelby. Um, just in case he does something silly, nah, it's fine. Um, I want to go for Thunder Wave just in case. Um, those freezes have really hurt. In comes the Shield on. Um, and I just got to go with Voltorb here. And just click T-Bolt and hope that it does enough damage. That does nothing. And he has Earth Power. That crit's nice, but it won't matter in the long run. Um, so, Rasta comes in. Crunch is really the only way. That's all I've got. Shield on's going to go down. And now in comes Bunnelby, who is life orbed. This is going to be close. Oh, we do take him out. Ho oh, ho. That was fortunate. Those freezes were really annoying because, you know, that was that saw the end of Lickitung and Sandshrew, who are answers to Arkan and Bunnelby. And indeed the Elekid to an extent. So, unfortunate, but Rattata coming through. Uh, and Drowsy doing okay as well. So, game down and a lucky win. We're going to see if we can get another one. Right, Dibakar. Uh, 1992. So, we've got the Magnemite, usually recycled berry juice. Fake out, U turning, high jump kicking shenanigans. There's Euronix, is usually a lead. Um, well, after the last game, which we saw some less than ideal things, uh, <laughs> one of these three is... I'm going to go with Sandshrew. Onyx. You see a lot of berry juice Onyxes with Sturdy to guarantee the rocks and then another attack. Magnemite, as I say, is that berry juice recycle set. Usually, the Marini is there. Given that you've got two hazard setters here, I'd wonder what the chest bin's doing. 
Interesting. Um, so Sanitary lead, and he's going to go with the Onyx. First thing I'm going to do is knock off that Berry Juice. He's going to get his rocks up. Oh, he's weak armoured. Okay. Get rid of that Violite. Um, I'm going to get my own rocks up. He really can't do too much to me. Um, I'd like to spin. There's potential I can spin elsewhere. So I'm just going to go for the Earthquake here. The fact that he's at minus one defense means this should do a decent amount. And there you go, down goes the Onyx. Um, now in comes the Mien Fu. Fake out is your potential. I'm going to go to Ekans just to get the Intimidate. He is going to fake out, that's fine. Um, I really don't lose anything by going for Earthquake here. Magnum will have it sturdy broken if it comes in. Marini will take big damage. Chespin I can take out the next turn with Gunk Shot. Abra doesn't want to take a hit. And I can suck a punch afterwards. So Earthquake's my play. He's going to go into the Magnemite. That's fine. And that's gone. Good. Magnemite can be really annoying with that Berry Juice set. So now it should be the turn of Abra. I would have thought. If it is, I can go like hard into Lickitung. Who should be able to tank any two hits from this guy. And Ekans can come back in later. It's going to be the Abra, that's fine. Um, the reason I don't want to go into Drowsy is just because he could be packing Shadow Ball, Signal Beam, which Drowsy won't appreciate. And Drowsy's nice for that Marini. Like, I can just be Volt switching around with Voltor at the end of the day, but um, I'm going to go Lickitung just to see what it can do. He's going to go for Psychic, which we do not sponge as well as I would like. But at this point, I'm just going to go for Knock Off. It's going to be the Marini. Um, so we will get rid of that thing Zavala, which is nice. Um, I am going to throw the Wish up as he goes for Iron Defense. Didn't entirely see that coming. Um, but now I can go hard into the, uh, into the Drowsy and see what he wants to do. He's going to go for another Iron Defense. Oh, sure. Uh, now I can just click Psychic. He's going to score. This won't do much. And Psychic will take him out, which is grand. Really nice. Now, weirdly, I think his switch here is going to be the Mienfu. So he can fake out U-turn. Yeah, there you go. And I don't have inner focus. I really should have inner focus on this guy. Um... But Ekans is always going to be the play. Get the Intimidate. He's going to go for a Z-move straight off the bat. And that's going to be... Oh, Jesus. Bounce. Alright, okay. Um, I'll Gunk Shot. As he goes for Knock Off, gets through the Violite. Okay. Now, z -move. Interesting. I didn't see that coming. Um... This is going to be the only chance for Sanitary to even do anything. Like, I'm max defense. Can I take a hit is the question. Um, Rapid Spin is just not the play here. Um, Earthquake is. High Jump Kick does kill. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, right. Let's try something new. Uh, we'll go into Volt Orb. And... I think just click Volt Switch. He's going to go to Chespin. That's fine. Volt Switch isn't going to do much. He gets a crit, which is nice. Um, do I want to go into Rattata at this point? Or perhaps the Lickitung. He might have Drain Punch is the thing. I want to keep Drowsy around. Really? Do I? The Abra, taking the risk that this Abra is in fact sashed, I'm going to need both Voltorb and Rattata for the quick attack to break the sash and then Scarf. 
Mianfu is a problem. Um, I'm going to go into Rattata. Go into Rattata and click return. Oh, click U-turn, actually. U-turn's a good play because that will just break this thing. If it hits, touch wood. Or touch, touch anything made of wood in my room. Um, he doesn't really have too much of a play here. He has to let something go. And Chespin is going to be the best thing to take a hit. Unless he's going to predict the U-turn and go into the Mianfu, which he's not. Which is nice. Okay. I'm trying to think what my least useful thing is. And weirdly, it's it's the Lickitung because... Voltorb tempts in the Mianfu to go for the fake out. Whereas Lickitung also tempts in the Mianfu, but also means that he can't go for fake out damage. It's going to be the Abra. Now, I can take a hit from this guy, I'm sure. And go for knockoff. Yeah. There's the Sash. There's the Sash. Now. Just in case I'm going to go for the Wish, but it's not going to happen, that's fine. Because now, we go into Volt Orb. He can't do anything. I'm going to click Volt Switch. Like, he could switch out, but there's not really any point. And now... Ugh, this Mianfu is a problem. But I should have enough Pokémon left... To the point where I can I can deal with it. So I'll go into Drowsy, who might be able to take a U-turn. I guess we'll see. Um, he's going to go for knockoff, get rid of the Violite, and goes down <clears throat> to the Psychic. Very nice indeed. Another win. Um, good shift put in there. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. Um, I think we can probably afford to try and find just one more game. Right, we have... <laughs> interesting name. Um, all sorts of things here. Again, Onyx would appear to be the lead. I'm going to go with Sandshrew. It's Squirtle. Oh, we don't like that. <laughs> no, no, we don't like that at all. Right, it's hard into Lickitung. Hard into Lickitung. I'm not about this life. Didn't see Squirtle leading. Waterfall is okay. I am going to go for Wish. Ah, Aurora Veil on Alolan Vulpix. Haven't seen that much in Little Cut. Of course, he gets the flinch. Why not? We'll get rid of the left leftovers, okay. Um, there's nothing I can really set up another. That flinch was annoying. There was nothing I would do to set up a wish on because everything outspeeds me. Um, go to Voltor. And click Hidden Power Ice. There's the Onyx. It gets very juiced, that's not ideal. I'm going to Sand True as he gets his rocks up. I'll do the same. As he goes for Rock Slides and gets a flinch. Earthquake this time in case he wants to go into that Squirtle. He's going to go for an Earthquake of his own. Can I get a kill with Spin? No, I can't. But I get rid of the rocks at the very least. Um, no. No, 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 no. No rocks on my side. I refuse to allow it. <laughs> refuse to allow it. It would have been nice to have rocks up for the Vulpix or the Growl. I think comes the Squirtle. Um, just in case. Oh, Rain Dance. Uh, 
He's going to go for a spin of his own. I'm going to get an Earthquake off. Big damage. I'll just go for rocks in case. Yeah, that's nice. We keep rocks on the field, which is super good. And now... Voltorb can just start Volt Switching around with Impunity at this point. Um, no reason not to. And rocks stay up on his side of the field. That's very, very nice indeed. Um... Drowsy's got to be my best bet. I think it probably forces in the ground life to crunch if it has it. There it is. This Drowsy's really very nice indeed. For the rest of his team. I'm going to go to Ekans. There's that crunch. Rain is gone. I, the gunk shot is my play here. As in comes the Abra. He's not Magic Guard. That's probably an oversight on his part. Here's the Bulbasaur. Um, I do want to go into Drowsy in case he wants to sort of sleep powder me. He's actually going to Leech Seed. I will go for Psychic. It's going to be the Growlithe. This won't take it favourably. It does take it, though. Which I guess is fine. I'm going to go to Ekans once again. I see no reason not to at this point. He is going to Flare Blitz. That's going to do damage to him. And I'm going to Sucker Punch. And that does take out the Growlithe. Good, he didn't go for Morning Sun or anything. Cool, okay. Um, back in comes the Bulbasaur. I'm just going to Gunk Shot. That crit probably mattered, let's be real. That is unfortunate for him. Um, and now it's just the only Vulpix left. Uh, ooh, gunk shot. He takes it out with extra sensory. Um, now, I could play it safe. But he's actually just going to straight up forfeit. Knowing it was the loss. I mean, playing it safe would have been going to Volt or Volt switching into Drowsy. Doing what I can and then back into Volt or again. But. Rattata could probably have dealt with him. It would have been a speed tie, but um, Return would have killed, and if not, I had the contingency of Voltorb and Drowsy. So, that is going to be it from this episode of Theme Thursdays. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. Let's take a look at that team once more. Um, everything kind of put in work, really. Um, I've been really enjoying Ekans, funnily enough, um, who actually did a good amount of work as well. I'm not entirely sure who will have been the MVP of that. I'm going to have to double check when I go back through this. But as I say, that is going to be it from this episode. Next week, we're going to be looking at um, the mini game Pokemon from Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, but remember, if there's a theme that you want to see me use, put it down in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter. You can always catch me there. Either message me directly or use the hashtag ShroomThemeThursdays because remember, you suggest the theme, I'll bring the team. That is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to get on out of here. So my final thank you to you all for watching. And I guess with that, I'll see you next time. Laters.